flowing profusely. Trails clear. She would lead me to him. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Well, what is it? What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skellige, sowing seeds among the rocks. But Erberos the snake bit a hole in her basket. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. Thus, this garden is bounteous, while the rest of Skellige is barren. You believe that? Is that a serious question? Of course not. Favorable microclimate for plant life. End of story. To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden? Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt, that's enough, hmm? Fine. Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh-huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because... Because? No bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you? Zeracanian cuisine, dandelion's fame, and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. All right, going back down. Be careful. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Show me what you got.
Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. Craven's blood. Craven was injured, started running. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. These prints should lead me to Craven, or his body. Fog doesn't give up easily. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Lots of prints, old and new. This lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. 
Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. the key. All I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key. Where's the key? Ah. Why so silent, Ramond? You thief. You rogue. You uh, uh, horse son. You worthless bastard. I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick! me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems <laughs> it didn't work out. Uh, Those who come <coughs> rarely introduce themselves. <coughs> what <coughs> did he look like? <coughs> uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, Benny. Uh, uh, Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. True treasure. Head away. Yours. Just help me. So. No joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible. Ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns in my throat. Like... Boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. 
Help me, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Farewell. See you soon. fell through the crevice years ago.
Yes. You dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keel haul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were the hunter's son. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, oh, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound and slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Saintly woman. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fans. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. Are you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. 
liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Orson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. It's what I do. Used to say the same myself. Till Morkvark gave the order to sail for Hindisfjall. I've raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. The priestesses. It was too much, even for me. When... When it was over, and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolfang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my dar. It was God Eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop-pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Once Morkvog's human again, you can't let him leave. No matter what.